What is up everybody, Diego Pinot here, and welcome to Part 7 of Life is Strange Episode 4. So this is where we left off, uh, seeing what Kate is uh, doing and how is she doing. So, with that being said, let's get started. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did, and we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? I assume he'll show up at the Vortex Club party tonight like nothing happened. And nobody can do anything to him after what he did. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but... She's not evil. So, I just want to say welcome back. Um, uh, how am I going to put it? Aside from what I said on the last video, saying that this is this week, since it's uh, Monday, uh, this will be my last week to record like anything, hopefully. If there's going to be days off, um, I will record, but I'll let you guys know, give you guys a heads up, and give you guys, a, I guess, another mini update when that day comes up, so I'll let you guys know what my schedule is. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. I don't think get well is quite apropos. And I guess I have a topic for you guys, and I don't, I don't really know how to respond to it. to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Oh, time travel is such a mind fuck. So, my question to you guys is that, uh, how am I going to put it, uh, when you're helping out someone, giving out advice, or just like talking to someone, but they don't respond to you, and after like maybe a week or so later, they, they end up talking to you for like a little bit, saying like, oh, I'm depressed and all that stuff, it's like, I... Maybe I just care too much. And I know I said in the last video saying that like... It's... It's just how I am. I, I, I care for others a lot. But, I mean... Maybe they just want to be alone or something. And I know three of my friends says it's better to focus on yourself than others. So, all I could say is like... Should I just stop caring? 
Should I continue to keep carrying? Or just, you know, completely just focus on myself, do not care anymore, and, you know, just let it be. If people need me, they call me or text me or whatever. Just comment down below what you guys think. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Because it just, it just really sucks that when people are depressed and, and they don't want you to help them. They just want to be alone. I know they need their space and everything, that's great, but it just sucks that, you know, that you want to be there for them, but they won't let you open up or just come in and just say, you know, I'm here to help you out. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in Science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. There must be a scientific explanation, right? 
When my friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. Alright, so, that being said, like this video, share this video, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, 84 subscribers, bump that up to 100, no rush on that, so part 7 is over. So, stay tuned for part 8, where we continue on talking with our science teacher, so yeah. See you guys there, gamers, and I'll see you guys in part 8, so yeah. See you guys there, gamers.